So, uh, what are we going to do tonight, O.C.G.? Why, the same thing we tried to do every night, but take over the world. I mean, uh, Twitch, uh, take over Twitch. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Bucktotem Bertram. And this is my review for Yakuza 4. Now, Yakuza 4 was originally released for the PlayStation 3 in 2011. But today we are reviewing the PlayStation 4 port. You might be saying to yourself, what's the difference? To which I say to you, stop asking stupid questions and eat your ice cream. <coughs> so, what is Yakuza 4, you might be asking. Well, dear viewer, Yakuza 4 is the sequel to Yakuza 3, which is the sequel to Yakuza 2, which is the sequel to Yakuza, which has absolutely nothing to do with Yakuza Dead Souls. To make it simple for the simpletons up there, the Yakuza series is heavily inspired by Yakuza films, where we usually play as Kazuma Kiryu. Or is it Kiryu Kazuma? I've never been able to figure out the British translation. These are basically open world beat em up light RPG games, where you beat up gangs and gangsters, do side missions, you can even visit illicit places like massage parlors and gambling establishments, which I do not recommend. I insist upon it! <coughs> you can also play mini-games, all the while usually dealing with some big conspiracy or murder or crime. Make sense? No? Then might I suggest Wikipedia? Basically, it's like Mafia without the awful accents. Or like Mafia 3 without being an awful game. Oh, and it's also set in Japan. On a side note, it might surprise you to know that I have never been a part of the Yakuza, but I have taken out the trash, so to speak. The recycling, too. Hmm. So, Yakuza 4 is more of the same, and trust me when I say that's not a bad thing. Now, I, I might be wrong, which I never am, but this is the first Yakuza game where you play as other characters besides Kazuma Kiryu. Or is it Kiryu Kazuma. I've never been able to figure out the British translation. Hmm. Now, I've already mentioned that this is a beat-em-up. The fighting in this game is so good, it is sure to give you an erection. What I mean by that is that the fights are exciting. You know, I, I should have said that. I should have said exciting instead of the word erection. Oh well, nothing I can do about it now. Back to the fighting. You will mostly be using your fists, but sometimes you can pick up weapons or even use a gun. Now I myself, I've, I've never held a gun. Well, not recently, though I was once quite the regular of what the Americans call gay bars. That's a different gun entirely, but uh, just as lethal as Freddie Mercury will attest. <clears throat> now, I'm going to get a lot of shit for that joke. Now, I mentioned this game takes place in Japan. 
Now, I haven't been able to speak Japanese since my Karate Kids days, but luckily the game comes equipped with British subtitles. So, as long as you can read, you'll understand the game. So, you 12 year olds who play Call of Duty Online might want to avoid this one. Yes. Now, the Yakuza games have always had fantastic voice acting, and 4 is no different. Now, not all of the dialogue is voiced, so in certain moments, characters become mutes. Rather like my Uncle Orson when that cat got his tongue. I mean, I say got it, but it would be more accurate to say ripped it out. On a serious note, the Yakuza series has fantastic stories and characters, and 4 carries on that tradition. The game features plenty of scenes of such intensity, such raw emotion that they can reduce grown men to tears. Something only usually possible by kicking a man in the genitals. Or shoving a cactus up his backside. I mean, I should know. I am rather accustomed to crying at video games, as well as having a close encounter with a cactus. And I've got the scars to prove it. Do I recommend Yakuza 4? Yes, I bloody do. And while you're at it, you might as well track down and play Yakuza. Yakuza 2. Yakuza 3, Yakuza Dead Souls, Yakuza 5, Yakuza 6, Yakuza Like a Dragon, Yakuza 0, Yakuza Kiwami, Yakuza Kiwami 2, y I think you get the point. This is an amazing series of games, and if you do not play them, then you're what I like to affectionately call a halfwit. Therefore, I am going to give Yakuza 4 a 9 out of 10. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My review for Yakuza 4. If you've enjoyed this little review of mine, well, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it so much, well then, feel free to give me a thumbs down. Please feel free to leave some abuse for me in my comment section. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Perhaps visit my Twitch, which is bloody hilarious. But the most important thing is to remember to always stay obsessed with gaming. Yeah.